I know exactly how you feel because standing out here in front of all you douchebags is the last place in the world I want to be. <laughs> but I was not going to allow Tony Khan, man, and Cody Rhodes to screw my guys out of what they have earned. Why does everybody suck up to Tony? Oh, how does he do it? He wears all these hats between AEW and the Jacksonville Jaguars and whatever the hell that soccer thing he calls his does. What is it? When he started this company, it's easy for Tony to wear multiple hats because he's so two-faced and he talks out of both sides of his mouth. Like when he started this company and said he was a fan first and foremost. And as a fan, all booking and talent decisions would be made on merit, not friendships or politics. And like any good con man, he started by delivering on those promises to gain your confidence. He pushed the weirdo on the skateboard the hands in his pockets guy, and even little Sammy. He brought in Danielson and Punk. But while he was dangling that carrot in front of your face with the left hand, the right hand was stabbing you in the back and gifting title shots to undeserving EVPs and friends like Cody Rhodes. You mark my words, he's turning this company into a late 1990s version of WCW, and he's becoming the very thing he hated the most about this business. Now, speaking of Cody Rhodes, has there ever been anybody in the history of the business better at parlaying backstage relationships into title matches, into main events? into fame and fortune, hell, into a primetime reality show that absolutely sucks. I mean, has anybody even watched that thing? Hold on. Well, Ricky, you're a co-star on that show, by the way. The star. Well, it seems like the American nightmare Cody Rhodes has heard enough. Yeah, Lambert might have went a little too far. I understand men of the year in the ring, but he needs to be careful. I wanted to hear more. table to score the win. That was uh, a, a plethora of physicality and danger that match with Andrade and Cody. Uh, so I, you know, I tip my cap to Cody on that on that contest in that match with Andrade. But right now, this is interesting. Cody needs to be careful here as uh, the men of the year are in the ring now. So he's got to watch himself. He knows that, though. Cody yeah. gets it. We know how impulsive Cody can be. That's where the voice of Arn Anderson comes into play, but there's no Arn Anderson out here tonight. Good point. fell when he did that. <laughs> oh, my man almost lost his balance. All right, well, Cody's two for one. Well, it's two to one, I should say, if you keep the score. Charging right at Scorpio Sky, but Ethan Page and Sky. What, what is Cody thinking out here? I would beat his ass over the oh, shoes. Dustin. Dustin Rhodes, the brother of Cody. The natural. Oh. Laying in some big right hands. You are not kidding. And 
Dan Lambert. Oh, boy, Dan, get out of the ring. Don't mess with Dustin. He's crazy. Whoa. The men of the year. Putting a stop to all of this. Great job by Ethan Page of Scorpio Sky. Descending on Cody and Dustin Rhodes. Yeah, that was a quick attack from behind by the men of the year. And Dustin Rhodes and Ethan Page inside the ring. Oh, wait this a second. The TNT champion, Sammy Guevara. Oh. Oh, the high. Gaman Geary drops Ethan Page. Great job by Sammy. What you got in mind here? Springboard. 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 Oh, oh, into the cutter. Oh. Man, that was massive. And Sammy Guevara and Cody Rhodes will face next week on Rampage, a special Christmas night Rampage for the TNT Championship. But Sammy coming to the aid of his challenger here tonight, Taz. Yeah, that's what's interesting about this, to the point you spent about Christmas night with Cody and Sammy TNT title. Wow. And you see Cody looking at Sammy like, well, what the heck? I understand my brother coming out to help me. Sammy? Christmas night, historically such a great night for pro wrestling. Can't wait for next week.